I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Alright y'all, what's going on guys? I'm back again with another video, back again with another video, back, back, back again with another video. So this is gorgeous and handsome face, might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So in today's video, before we get into today's video, as a matter of fact, I know all of you, well some of you who watch, whoever watches my video, uh, probably wants to know where have I been all this time. And I know you hear this from a lot of YouTubers, but it's just because we feel like we owe it to you guys. But... Basically, I have been busy working. I've been busy just doing what I do. So now I'm here in, in my hotel, uh, enjoying a few days here, a couple days here. Um, yeah, just, you know, taking time to myself because I'm not going to lie, a lot of YouTubes, uh, I'm sorry, YouTubers uh, doing YouTube, it, it does get stressful because, you know, you guys got to understand where, uh, what it's like to be a YouTuber. Like, you know, we putting the content out for you guys, whether it's gaming, whether it's, uh, you know, pranks, whether it's a couple YouTubers, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever you guys are, whoever you guys are subscribed to or whatever you guys are watching or doing whatever on YouTube, it takes a lot for a YouTuber to actually, um, put in time, you know, the edit, you know, doing the editing takes the most time to make the video. It's easy, but editing is actually a little bit harder. And I've told it to a lot of people, but, uh, yeah, uh, I also did my first ever, uh, autograph signing. Uh, one person came up to me and was like, you know, a uh, person that I actually worked with actually subscribed to my channel, uh, channel and uh, they asked for my autograph. I just thought that was really cool. You know, I thought it was funny at the same time, but you know, it was cool. That's, you know, my first one ever. So guys, uh, I, I, I want to bring more of that to the rest of you guys. Um, but yeah, this has already been almost a, a two minute intro. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from, but now we're going to get into today's video. So with that being said, guys. Let's get into today's video because it is going to be a banger. So, basically, in today's video, we going to be talking about, uh, you know, everything that's going to be in the December update. Uh, there's a new update that's rolling out. We're going to be talking about that. The Christmas event that's coming up. Uh, don't forget, Community Day is the last day. It's today. We did one yesterday. Uh, so, make sure you're getting your shinies and everything like that. I caught my first uh, shiny Pidgey this morning. Uh, yeah, so basically, I'm just we just gonna be talking about everything about this month. Uh, hopefully, I don't leave anything out. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, guys, let's jump into this video. But, but we not gonna jump into this video now. But we gonna jump into this video right now. Let's go. Merry Christmas to you all too. All right, trainers, so we're going to start talking about the new events that's coming for the rest of the month of December leading into the beginning of next year, 2020. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you about this little passage here and then we're going to jump into a smaller version because this is a very long paragraph and I know you don't want to uh, hear this whole paragraph, paragraph being read to you all. So I'm just going to give you a summary of just what it is on another uh, site So for that matter Let's jump into it So it says a gift from us to you Pokemon Go's December event So it says trainers While 2019 might be winding down The world of Pokemon Go never stops Now from raids to Pokemon Shadow Pokemon Legendary Pokemon or Legendary Shadow Pokemon To new avatar items There's so much to look forward to This holiday season Now get cozy Because trainers it's going to be a long list Full, full of cool gifts from us to you. And when they say full list, it is a full list. For those of you, and I'm sure most of you read this, but some of you may not, you know, or some of you are actually coming back to Pokemon Go now. So, like I said, I'm not going to read the whole uh, whole paragraph. I'm just going to give you a summary of on another site. So, stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go through this right here first, and then we go to that site. So, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start things off with this right here. So, it says features a challenging development 
Now, most of you already know what's going on, but like I said, for those of you that don't, this is mainly for you. Or, if you like enjoying watching my channel, this is also for you. So, make sure you like this video if you love this video. So now, we're going to get into it. So it says, a challenging development, a new special research line designed to help take down Team Go Rocket is available until the end of December. Now, defeat Giovanni this month and you'll have a chance to rescue Shadow Zapdos. Now, before previously, we had Shadow Articuno. I wasn't able to do it because I'm still not finished uh, the challenger development from before. Or I think it was called Looming something or another. I'll put it up on the screen, but you guys already know what it is. Anyway, you have a chance to enc encounter Shadow Zapdos now. And probably next month, we're probably going to get Shadow Moltres. So, without further ado, let's get into the rest of this. Alright, so, I'm going to read this last passage before getting to the other site, before we start talking about Verizian. So, let's go. So, it says, all scrambled up, different Pokemon will be hatching from eggs. Now, starting Monday, which is today, December 16, 2019, you can expect different Pokemon to be hatching from eggs. Now, a lot of people may want to know which Pokemon will they be. You have to basically start incubating your eggs to find out. It might even be some new Pokemon that Niantic hasn't uh, put out yet. So... Which I highly doubt because they're not going to do that probably until the Christmas event, which takes place uh, very shortly. So, without further ado, we're going to talk about that in the, uh, on the next site. So, guys, with that being said, let's jump into that where we start talking about Verizian and the Christmas event update. Because it's going to be a blast. So, let's go. Alright, trainers. So, basically, now we're back. We're going to start talking about Verizian. And uh, this is a... Uh, from an app called Goldfield Guide. Make sure you download this app. This I'm, I'm not being sponsored or anything like that, but I'm just letting you guys know. This is a really cool app to go follow. It's uh, it gives you a brief summary of what it's gonna be. So this way you don't have to read those long paragraphs Niant that Niantic actually gives out. But I'm sometimes I'm gonna be giving part uh, from each site because I mean it might be some things that I might end up missing. But anyway, without further ado, so let's get into this. So. Basically, we're going to be talking about Verizian, the uh, that's coming in for the five-star raids. Now, basically, they're going to be coming uh, the 17th of this month, which is actually uh, tomorrow, actually, uh, and it lasts all the way up until next year on the 7th uh, at 4 p.m. Obviously, so 4 p.m. tomorrow is when it comes to raids, and it ends on next month on the 7th at 4 p.m. Now. Verizian, the Grassland Pokemon, will be coming to 5-star raids. This grass and fighting type legendary Pokemon, and it is part of the Swords of Justice, for those of you that don't know, uh, legendary Pokemon has been said to confound opponents with its swift movements, so make sure you have your battle strategies ready before you encounter it. So, basically what you want to use is fire types, psychic types because it's part fighting types, you know, or you can get like that uh, fire and psychic type, uh, kind of like Lugia, well, fighting types are also weak against flying types and grass, so you want to use flying types, actually, because Verizian has a double weakness to flying types, grass, and fighting. So, anyway, use those fire types also. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so bonus during events. Did we gonna talk about, this is the only bonus during events, so, and we already went over it, so there's no point in me going back over it, because we already know Verizian is already in five stars, and that's the only thing that's up here, so that was pretty funny. Anyway... Without further ado, now let's jump into the big thing that you all been waiting for, and that is the Winter Christmas Event Update. Let's get into it. Actually, before we get into the Christmas Update, we're actually going to be talking about the Lugia and Ho-Oh Special Raid Weekend. This is also a new update. So, basically, it's, it's a Raid Weekend. Uh, if you haven't gotten your Lugia and your Ho-Oh, Now's your chance to do it. And I mean, I'm sure it's going to be another chance right after this. But Niantic tries to like give people a chance to actually get their whole old Lugia. Because people have uh, work, people have school and everything like that outside of Pokemon Go. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this. So, Lugia and Ho-Oh Special Raid Weekend. Which is going to start on the 20th of this month. Which is like in four days, I, I believe. Um, and it's going to start at 4 p.m. Now... The end time is the 23rd, so this is actually a three-day event, and it also ends at 4 p.m. this month. So it's a three-day uh, raid weekend event. 
Don't forget, Ho-Oh and Lugia can be shiny. Uh, yeah, so this is your time to actually get it. Lugia and Ho-Oh return for a special raid weekend, both psychic and flying type. Lugia and the fire and flying type Ho-Oh will be available in raid battles. So basically here, yeah, so pretty much it's the same thing. So guys, without further ado, like I said, they could be shiny. It comes on the 20th. It ends on the 23rd, three days, 4 p.m. start, 4 p.m. end start, I mean end time on the 23rd. So yeah, don't forget they both can be shiny. Now we get into the winter update Christmas event. Now let's go. All right, guys, this is what y'all been waiting for, the Christmas update. Now, this is the event, the big event. Now, for those of you that don't know, like I said, I'm sure you all basically that play the game religiously already know what's going on um but like i said for people that don't know and just come back to the game on this event this is mostly for you now let's get into it so pokemon go holidays 2019 so you see cub chew stantler and delibird now they're really three great pokemon three special pokemon and we're going to talk about why they're special now on december the 21st i'm sorry 24th christmas eve all the way till next year New Year's Day on the 1st at exactly 12.59, almost 1, no, 12 in the morning, 11.59 to 1, well, you get it, 12 o'clock, there you go. Anyway, that's when it ends. Now, the holiday season is here along with the Pokemon Go Holidays event. The Pokemon Go Holiday event 2019 will feature new Pokemon in costumes, so... That's what's so special about Cub Chew. Now, with that being said, the Pokemon Go, I'm sorry, new ice type Pokemon never before seen in Pokemon Go event, exclusive field research, winter themed avatar items, and a blizzard full of bonuses. Now, the ice type Pokemon, one of them is Cub Chew. We're gonna get into more details on these new ice type Pokemon in case you haven't known. But the ones that we already know is Delibird, which you see on the right hand corner of your upper screen, which can be shiny just like it was last year. And then there's something also special about Stantler. So we're gonna get into the rest of this. All right, so it says bonus during event. Now you get twice the gifts. The number of gifts you can open daily will increase to 40. Because you can only really carry tw uh, 20. Carry twice as many gifts. The number of gifts you can carry in your inventory will increase to 20. Because you can only carry 10. One guaranteed single use incubator per day. By spinning a photo disc on a Pokestop. So every Pokestop you spend per day. You get one single use. Which is cool. Because it was just like that with last year's uh, Christmas event update. And Pokemon Go in holiday costumes. Which will be Pikachu. Raichu and Pichu and they'll be wearing all they'll be wearing beanies and Stantler wearing bells will appear in Pokemon Go. So that's cool. That's cool, but it's something also cool about Stantler, aside from just wearing bells. So it says Pokemon appearing in the wild. Ice type Pokemon will be appearing in the wild, such as Sneasel, which can be shiny, Delibird, which can be shiny, Snow Runt, which can be shiny. You can also get that shiny frost last if you still have a Sinnoh Stone. Now, and much more. Or if you just want to evolve to Glalie, it's up to you. But just make sure it's a female shiny Snow Run, and you'll get that shiny Frost Lass. Now, let's get into the rest of this. All right, so Cub Chew, the chill Pokemon, will make its debut in Pokemon Go. Now, Cub Chew with the bear Pokemon in your upper left-hand corner, which I just showed you earlier, uh, Pokemon pairing in eggs is Alolan Sandshrew, which can be shiny. Alolan Vulpix, which I want one day to be shiny. Uh, because, you know, it's just, it makes sense. Uh, oh, no, wait. I'm thinking about the regular Vulpix. I'm sorry. Alolan Vulpix is already shiny. What am I talking about? Anyway, Pichu wearing beanies and Stantler wearing bells will be hatching from 7km eggs. So, Stantler can be found out in the wild with bells, and it can be hatched from 7km eggs, also wearing bells. So that's cool. So you want to hatch those 7km eggs. 
uh, right you wearing beanies and Stantler wearing bells are also in raid. So you have three chances to actually, well, three ways I should say, to get that uh, Stantler with the bells. So you have raids out in the wild and some seven kilometer eggs. Now, here's the brand new ice type Pokemon, Cryogonal. The crystallizing Pokemon will make its debut in Pokemon Go and can be encountered using a glacial lure module. So, if you want to encounter them, use your glacial lure modules. Just use ice, just use your glacial lure modules anyway, because they're gonna spawn all kind of ice type Pokemon anyway. So hopefully you be getting some shinies and everything like that. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be tons of fun. But we're also gonna get into another event that has to do with glacial lure modules. So before we get into that, we're gonna finish this up. Okay, so you have event exclusive field researches. Now, we have that, and now we have shadow Pokemon that can actually be Delibird, and a few other Pokemon will be turned to shadow Pokemon by Team Go Rocket. So, Delibird can be shiny, and now it can be shadow, but I wonder if they're gonna have it as a shadow shiny Pokemon, just like a few other shadow shiny Pokemon, like, I don't know, Scyther, or, other shiny shadow Pokemon like Meowth. So, this will be fun. Shiny Shadow Sneasel also. Now, with that being said, this is what's so special about Stantler. Not just wearing bells and being three ways you can actually catch him, but, or encounter him, but Shiny Stantler wearing bells and Shiny Snover will be released. So now, Shiny Stantler and Shiny Snover can now be found in the world of Pokemon Go to the polls. <laughs> now, winter themed avatar items are coming to the shop, so you might want to stay tuned for that. I don't really purchase from that uh, shop. I just keep my same outfit on, you know, avatar. I'm not going to lie to you though. The avatar items actually look pretty sick. Like it looks pretty nice. It really does. But I mean, just a lot of people complain cuz it's a pay to win, pay to play, whatever. You should just play it how you choose. If you don't want to buy it, don't. If you don't want to buy it, incubators, don't. Just use the one single incubator. Just, you know, or keep your costume that you already have. Or, you know, whatever you got to do. Or just use the coins or whatever. Like Reggie Gigas, for instance. Reggie Gigas, a lot of people are saying, oh, you have to buy, uh, you know, a special pass to get them and all that. They, they're going to come to EX Raid. Like, right now, they're in EX Raid, so you can actually start getting them now, but you have to get your EX Raid Pass. But, speaking of EX Raid Pass, uh, the EX Raid Pass is pretty hard to get. I don't know for you, but for me it is, because I've been raiding at EX Raid uh, Gems, and for some reason, I haven't gotten my EX Raid Pass. But, someone was nice enough to actually give me a invite. So now, hopefully... I can attend that day and, yeah, get my Reggie Gigas. So with that being said, guys, enough of me talking. We're going to get into the last few of this part of this winter event update. And, uh, yeah, before I end this video. So let's go. All right. So you have two times candy. Now, this is a part of the update also. So, like I said, on the 24th, Christmas Eve, on to Christmas Day, from Tuesday to uh, December 24th at 12 a.m. to Wednesday, December 25th, which is Christmas and Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at 11.59 11, 11 p.m. after opening up your gifts in your local time zone. Enjoy two times candy bonuses during this holiday season. Bonus during event. And, uh, yeah, so basically you get two times catch candy and two times transfer candy. So anything that you transfer, you earn candy from that. And when you catch Pokemon, you also earn candy from that. So that's pretty cool. Now let's jump into the other parts. All right, now, so the day after Christmas, which is the 26th, from Thursday, December 26th at 12 a.m. to Friday, December 27th at 11.59 in your local time zone and enjoy two times Stardust reward. So you get two times Stardust rewards and you get two times catch candy and transfer candy. So this is the perfect time to earn them candy so you can power up that your Pokemon uh, and then probably even power up your newest Pokemon that, you know, when Niantic drops for this event. Alright, now you have two-time catch XP. Now, from Saturday, December 28th 
at 12 a.m. to Sunday, December 29th at 11.59 p.m. in your local time zone. Enjoy two times catch XP. All right, now, to go along with the rest of that, this is a event on its own, but it's still a part of it, of the Christmas event. Now, this is a special winter weekend event. Now, on the 28th of this month, December 28th, at 11 a.m. to December 28th, which is the same day, to, I believe, 11 p.m., during the final Saturday in December and 2019, look forward to a special eight-hour long winter weekend event. So it's not really eight hours. It's eight hours, so it's not 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's like 11 to 8 or something like that. Uh, or 11 to 9, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but you, you guys basically know. So, anyway, I mean, I know, but, like, I'm not gonna really, like, go through that, because you guys can figure it out on your own. So, anyway, uh, anyway, look forward to a special eight-hour long winter weekend event with the below benefits and bonuses. Alright, so here's the bonuses. So you get two hour, this is the special lure, uh, glacial lure module event I was telling you about. Uh, this is what I was referring to. So, now it says two hour glacial lure module duration. So it lasts for two hours. Kind of like the original lure module, except now it's with the glacial lure module. Now, Glaceon was last resort. This is how you get them. Use a glacial lure module to evolve Eevee during the event and you'll get a Glaceon that knows of charge attack last resort. Then you have a chance to take on Regice when it returns to Rage. Now remember, Regice can now be shiny, so this is your chance and my chance as well because I haven't had a chance to raid the Reggie Trio uh, when they became shiny. I raided them before, before they could be shiny, but now I didn't have time to actually raid uh, those couple days for uh, the Reggie Trio when they became shiny. I do want that, uh, what is it? Reggie, not Reggie Rock, not Reg, it's Reggie Steel. That's the one I, I want, the, that, that light green, like that looks really minty. Anyhow, Regice returns to raid, so now's your chance to actually get him. And then you get two additional raid passes as well with that. So, I guess it's free, uh, and then you got your other free lure module, I mean, your other, your third uh, raid pass because, you know, day to day you get a free raid pass, so I guess that makes three. And if you like to buy raid passes, or if you can afford to buy raid passes, then you're in luck. And I'm sure Niantic will actually have more um, in the shop area where you can purchase the boxes and everything like that. So you'll be in double the luck. Now, let's get to the rest of this video before I wrap it up. Let's go. Alright, so now this is the last part of the video before I wrap this video up. So you have half hatch distance from December 30th, the last day of this month. Well, it's not really the last, but yeah, yeah, it's the last day. Anyway, to January 1st, from Monday, December 30th, 2019 at 12 a.m. to Wednesday, January 1st at 11.59 in your local time zone. Enjoy half egg hatch distance. So you get, so this is basically the, the uh, bonus during the event. All right, so half hatch distance when eggs are placed into incubators during this time period. So that's basically self-explanatory. So guys, this event is gonna be a ton of hype. It really is. Um, yeah, so pretty much that wraps everything up. So yeah, so if you like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, sub, share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Comment down below, smack a like on this video, turn post notifications on so you stay updated on my latest videos. Crush the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos when I upload. And as always, guys, peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Keep your head up. And remember to always, always stay blessed or be blessed. And I'm out. Peace.